Hello everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. It is now officially 2015, which means it is time to take a look back at 2014 as a whole. I don't know about you guys, but it was a blast. Of course, there were ups and downs as there are every year, but you know what? Beer was there every step of the way. I had some great beer, I had some bad beer, and I had everything in between as well. Went to some cool beer events, got to meet up with some cool people. All in all, it was just a lot of fun, and I hope that you guys had a great year as well. So, today I will be counting down the top 10 favorite beers that I had in 2014, and it was a little bit rough to actually narrow this down. Now, in regards to the list, I'm doing this chronologically, so just because you see, uh, you know, insert beer here, doesn't mean it's number 10, 10 versus, you know, beer here is not necessarily number one. Just chronologically going throughout the year. Now, to qualify for this list, each beer had to be reviewed for the very first time in 2014. That means that even though it's some really kick-ass repeat beers, disqualified completely. But yeah, cool stuff. I hope that you guys enjoy. Please let me know what your favorite beer, what your favorite moments were from 2014. And I hope you enjoy... Let the show begin. Oh wow, this smells really good. Oh my god, so you actually get a nice whiskey smell, but it's not boozy, it's not alcoholic. You can smell the whiskey, but it's not like burning your nose. There's a lot of vanilla in here as well. I'm getting a little bit of oak, not too much though. Definitely some dark chocolate, some milk chocolate in there. I'm definitely getting a nice roasty malt. You definitely can taste the whiskey, although it's not at the forefront as much as it is in the aroma. There's definitely some toffee and caramel sweetness on the back end as well. And then it actually dries out quite quite nicely so that you're ready to take another sip but wow this is so good like i said i've had this previously fresh and it's not a bad beer fresh but it is kind of boozy and without alcohol dying down it just really lets this beer shine through oh my god wow Oh my god, that is so intense. You get huge tropical fruit notes. It's piney. It's resinous. Oh my god. There's mango. There's peach. There's papaya. There's pineapple. There's tangerine. There's orange peel. There's grapefruit. There's a nice pininess. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. That is so intense. Right off the bat, you're just assaulted with all these tropical fruit notes. Big orange, grapefruit, there's a tangerine type of note, obvious mango, papaya, pineapple. It's very sweet, very juicy. Oh <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. Right away I get that spicy rye note. I get a nice big sweet vanilla note as well. I can really smell the rye whiskey and yet it's not boozy. It's just, it's kind of the characteristic that I got in the Barrel Age Gonzo where you can smell the spirit but it doesn't smell hot. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I have to go in for another sip. Wow. Right away, you get that big rice spiciness. You're definitely getting the whiskey note, the big vanilla, kind of a toasted coconut. I'm definitely getting a nice bit of oak, but it's not so oaky that it, you know, is overwhelming like it can be. I'm getting some definite 
toffee and caramel sweetness very very much so on the back end oh wow <laughs> oh my god right away big vanilla there's big bourbon notes you get a nice subtle cherry note in there it's definitely in there but it's not over the top i'm definitely getting some raisins some dates some figs <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. Wow. That is just. That is so tasty. Wow. Right away, I get that big sweet vanilla right up front. It is huge. It's followed immediately by the big bourbon notes. I'm getting a little bit of oak in there as well. Hmm. Right at mid palate, you just get that nice big tart cherry. It's not sour, but it's definitely got a little bit of tartness in there. It's so good. It's like a ripe cherry note. And then on top of that, you're getting dates, you're getting plums and figs, almost like a currant type of taste as well. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'd say this beer has some chocolate in it. Wow. Wow. It smells like fudge. It smells like brownies. It smells like chocolate syrup. Holy crap. Right off the bat, you get like a malted milk ball. Yeah. You smell, you get a little bit of that vanilla. Oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. Instantly, this reminds me of almost an amped up version of Southern Tier Chocolate. Oh, yeah. Because chocolate is a straight up chocolate beer, but it's, it has a little bit more nuances than just chocolate. This has this is one so layers of chocolate, chocolate, but there's also a lot of other stuff going on that I didn't really smell, but I can taste. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a really big roasted, almost to the point of being a burnt malt note in the background, yeah, I think. Especially on the back end of the palate. They lose that burnt flavor on your tongue. Mm hmm Very roasty. Wow, up front, though, I'm getting this really big sweet and milk chocolate. Super, super rich. That kind of fades into more of this really bitter dark chocolate as well. I'm not getting as much vanilla as I was in the nose. I'm definitely getting a little bit of vanilla, but I think it's somewhat more hidden by the roasted malt. I don't know. What do you think? I agree. I think that the... Vanilla is a lot more in the nose than it is in the in the taste. Um, you really do get that varying degrees of chocolate though on the yeah. on the first sip. You've got you get all those different layers of like a dark fudgy chocolate to like a light milk chocolate and almost maybe a little bit of a white chocolate in there. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, because it tastes kind of like not syrupy as in the mouthfeel, but it kind of tastes like Hershey's chocolate syrup yeah. it kind of tastes like a brownie batter mix i mean it's just exactly. it's all these different types of chocolate they're used to experiencing but in a glass along with this big roasted note i gotta say too i'm loving the body on this it's really got a nice full body very very creamy and coating it's not overly carbonated as sometimes these beers are wow, wow. yeah we said the same thing at the same time Massive dark fruits like plums, raisins, dates, figs. I'm getting a little bit of some caramel and some toffee sweetness. It's really sweet. When I took that first aroma, sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, sweet. Ooh wee. Oh my god. Ooh wee. That's mm. intense. Wow. Right away, I'm definitely getting the dark fruits, but more than that, I'm actually getting this really big kind of dark and milk chocolate sweetness. I'm getting that really like bittersweet dark chocolate, definitely the milk chocolate. I'm getting some more of that kind of toffee and caramel. There's actually a really nice kind of roasted bitterness on the very back end. As it lingers on my palate, I get more of that roastiness that you expect from an imperial stout. You kind of get that, like the lingering I do. bitterness? I do. I think that's a good description, and I can't add much to that, Johnny. Wow. Tell you what, though, I didn't smell the alcohol. I couldn't taste it. I don't know about no. you. I got a definite warmth as it goes down. I am, yeah. I am. But it's pretty smooth considering it's 13%, though.
That's ex all I get is red wine and alcohol. Oh my god, that is amazing. I just get wow. this really big burst of like red grapes. I'm and definitely getting a really strong dark chocolate aroma. I'll tell you what, Johnny, a lot of mm. people don't know this about me, but years ago when I first started to drink alcohol, I loved red wine. Yeah? Yeah, and this this is just reminiscent of my childhood days. Uh, yeah, this childhood is so, days. so red wine for ah. Crazy stuff. I do get the chocolate and the roasted wow. malt still, but that, that Cabernet barrel is really forceful. Yeah. I get a lot of that kind of woody, oaky tannins, No, too. no doubt, my friend. I think that without further ado, mm. we should say cheers. Huh? Oh, man, I agree. Right, cheers, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, that is good. Wow. Like, uh, it reminds me of a good red wine that oh. you would serve with a pasta dish. Oh. And it's got those chocolatey notes in there, my friends. Wow. It's got a very smooth uh, finish, though. Oh, it's yeah. got, I get the roasted malt in there. Mm. What do you think? Oh, yeah, spot on. Right away, up front, wow. just like in the aroma, I get that big Cabernet smell. I definitely get those red grapes, like juicy red grapes. I'm definitely getting a ton of wine immediately followed. That's really nice fudgy dark chocolate. I mean, it's like this bittersweet dark chocolate. I'm getting a lot of those roasted malts. More on the finish, I think, than anything else, though, you know? No doubt. Like, it finishes, and it really kind of, that, that roasted malt character lingers on the palate. It does. Oh, my God. I get a lot of those woody, oaky tannins right in the mm. middle, though. This is crazy. It's almost like chocolate-covered grapes, in a way. Like, oh, my God. Oh, man, does that smell good. Wow. Mm. So the first thing I'm getting is a lot of chocolate. I'm getting this really deep, dark, rich milk chocolate, dark chocolate. It's really got both elements to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. So right up front, definitely getting the dark chocolate. It's like this really nice... Bittersweet dark chocolate, definitely getting this more kind of sweet and creamy milk chocolate in there as well. Oh man, that is really delicious. It's kind of like having a chocolate bar, honestly. I mean, it's really rich, super, super decadent. Oh my god, so right away there's these huge, really just luscious tropical fruits. It's like peach, mango, papaya, this really big orange peel. Kind of like apricot, definitely a touch of grapefruit in there, but man, this is very, very fruity. Definitely getting some vanilla sweetness. I'm definitely getting some toasted coconut in there as well. Wow, that is really good. Quite a bit different from the actual aroma, though. So what's really interesting is it definitely has those big kind of hoppy fruity notes up front, but about mid pal that bourbon comes in pretty strong and an actual bourbon taste. Beyond that, as it sits in my palate, I'm definitely getting a lot of that kind of toasted coconut, definitely a lot of vanilla sweetness in there as well. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> Oh, wow, okay, I'm not going to lie, I wish that this was an air freshener, oh my god. That smells like a straight up gingerbread cookie, that is insane. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> wow, there, there just are almost no words for this. Damn. That tastes like a liquid gingerbread cookie. That is crazy. So up front, I'm getting a ton of that wildflower honey. I'm definitely getting a ton of that really nice fresh ginger. In the mix there, it has that little bit of bite from the cinnamon, you know, just like when you have a gingerbread cookie and there's that little bit of bite. It definitely has that from the cinnamon. And as it sits on my palate, I'm definitely getting more of that vanilla, too. It's really, really nice and sweet, but it's not over-the-top cloying. But, wow, that is Without crazy. further ado, guys, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. Ho, ho, ho.